everyone, and welcome back to Realms and Roleplay, Sovereign of Death. Last time where we left, um, things were not in such a good place. The city of Stone Snarry was being overrun by the army of the dead, and thanks to the efforts of Horatio, uh, the heroes were able to escape through a portal. So we're going to pick up right where that left off. Um, you all go through the portal, and as you see it close, you see that Horatio gets stabbed through the chest by um, the Half-Dragon General. And you all are in the desert um, on the outskirts of the city. So we're still in immediate vicinity of a place that is being attacked by armies of uh, giant knife-wielding demons from your previous description, correct? Uh, oh, and also a dragon. Yes, so you are currently unseen, but you are still close enough to where if you remain there, there could be danger. H Horatio couldn't create a portal to just <laughs> move us further away from this? You could ask <laughs> him, but he's dead that's now. So. Thanks. He was hoping for. <laughs> we didn't see him die. We just saw him get stabbed through the chest. We don't know for sure that he's dead. That's true. There's, there's always hope. Did he come through the portal with us, or did the portal close? I don't remember what side he was on. So he was still in the city uh, as the portal closed behind you all. Do we have capacity to uh, leave slash run away as soon as possible? If you would like. I mean, uh, Tony the Pony is there, so... We can, can we all Tony. fit on Tony? Is she uh, magic? Uh, she, she is not magic. Uh, she is a big horse, though, so, I mean... Some, most of you can fit, and Arya can fly, so there's that. Okay. Well, so, not to be that guy, but shouldn't we go see if we can find Keith? <laughs> uh, we, we, we saw Keith uh, through the portal before it happened, right? He no, we didn't. You us? asked... Oh. Remember, you asked if we could see the knife museum, and, and they said no, mm -mm. that it was too far away. <clears throat> And I'm, he's very, he's been very helpful. I'm going to support saw you. Zymes, right? You saw Zymes and uh, Gravis yeah. um, and Faruna. Uh, okay, I will support you. If, if you want to do a quick look for a knife museum and then run the heck away. Uh, let's this isn't just... the first time we'll have left a town burning, so. I like it not to be so common an occurrence. It's true, true. It's, listen, it, I'm sorry that we don't get along with dragons. I wish we did. Something I would love to work on at some point. <laughs> we we have made some progress with the half dragon. We don't get along or not get along with dragons on the whole. Usually they're the ones bearing down on us with their breath weapons. <laughs> I mean, listen, I would like to see if we could do something about this. But anyway, what do you all think? Do you think if you feel like we should just get out of here, cool. If he's like, where's the knife museum? Is it on the edge of town or is it in the middle of town? So the Knife Museum is on the other side of town from where you are headed towards the um, Hero Academy. So you'll you'll need to get through town or around town to okay. get to there. Now, is it on our way to Wynn's, where Wynn's dad is? Uh, or is so it in the opposite direction? Wynn's family is uh, in Broken Rock, which is uh, a island uh, country of itself. So you would need to get a boat from either Stone Snarry or you would need to travel uh, across the desert to the city of Adrill, which is the closest city, and get a, a ferry to Broken Rock or some kind of boat. Which way is Stone Snarry? Uh, so Stone Snarry is right in front of you. That's the city you just came from. And the behind you behind you to right. the north is the city of Adrill, um, which is the city of mountains. Um, okay. So you could always go there if you would like. You have some options. So we could conceivably get a boat from the city that we just left if we went to try to find the docks. Potentially. You've also got a magical cloak full of boats. <gasps> oh, yes! I do have a magical cloak full of boats and all kinds of things. <gasps> Are they big okay. enough boats? Wait, wait. I have. Wait, let's see what kind of boat it is. Let's Are we going to, like, canoe? across yeah tony um, has to fit I'm, well yeah we can make tony fit wait oh 12 foot long rowboat i have two of them though so we can use them i also by the way y'all i have 
Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I swear to God, I had a portal and I don't see it on here, so maybe I'm making this up. You don't have a portal, uh, you, I think you, you have a hole. You, you, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you have a hole oh. and then a uh, magic window. Yes, oh, so window. with the hole, like for people watching who are like, that's not how those holes work. I amended the holes, uh, so the way that the holes in this game works are when you place it, you can select one destination, and the hole, when you go through the hole, it'll take you to that destination. It's like in cartoons where they're magic holes or whatever. But yeah, so you can you can select okay. one destination to go to. Um, however, it has to be somewhere that's within 100 feet of where you currently are. Oh, okay. Well, I, somehow that's not on my list anymore, so I don't know. Maybe I have more things. Them? somehow in the five minutes before <laughs> since getting the cloak and now okay so a hole within 100 feet so it's not like it's kind of like a tele like a little quick teleport it's not going to mm -hmm. take us anywhere okay well we do have two 12 foot long rowboats so if we can find some water we can get out of here and also get on to Wynn's family I'm gonna be honest here i am freaking out and we barely escaped there with our lives, and this was not on my to-do list for today. And I'm yeah. just trying to reprioritize what we're hoping for. So are we tr are trying to escape the city? I don't mean to interrupt, but it. are you all having this conversation where you landed outside of the portal? I don't think we yes. moved. Okay, uh, <laughs> could somebody make a perception check? Ah, oh, jeez. Gosh. <laughs> Wynn's yelling, so I don't two. feel like it was me. Yeah. I have a plus two perception. Does another non-yelling party member want to take it? I, I also have a plus two perception. I only have plus one, so... Uh, 17. Awesome. So, uh, as everyone's kind of figuring out which way to go, you notice that there are patrols that are leaving the city and, like, starting to spread out around the desert area. Okay, like what kind so of patrols? If we're going to make a... Patrols. Uh, so you can... Mm, what kind? So that's a good <laughs> question. So there are a couple of different creatures. Um, there, You see that there is a giant no. uh, skeletal minotaur uh, riding <gasps> a... Um, where is it? Da, da, da. That, that, that seems like it isn't like uh, the normal... Minotaurs that we're, we're friends with, matey. And it's riding a skeleton warhorse. And there is an army of small skeletons. When I say an army, there's probably like six of them. And uh, some sca some scarecrows that have like these vines that look like they're alive and that are pulsing as arms and legs. And there's a couple of uh, shadows that you can see that flow across the land like mist. And they're all I... spreading out to look. Okay, listen, just because they look scary doesn't mean that they're bad. We don't know. Nope, 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 nope. I have nope, a history nope. of being foolhardy, and this, even to me, seems like a horrible, horrible idea. Okay, so uh, it seems like there's a window. Uh, there's a window where we may be able to get in. As these things have so completely dominated the town that they're now spreading out, what, what, what gives you the personal belief that we've got a window uh, to duck in and duck out? No, that's fair. I think there's chaos happening right now, and the mm -hmm. longer this pe these people have control over the city, the less chaos they'll be. And I think chaos is our best chance of getting in and out without okay. necessarily getting caught. So our to-do list is swing by the knife museum, head to the docks, escape. Don't help the people we kind of like. Well, they're done. I mean, they're like right in the middle of the. Mm -hmm. It was like on, I don't think we can get back there. And if, if we that's see where his jorts, was, we'll bury them. <laughs> we'll bury Gravis's jorts. Okay, so thought, thought. I have a disguise. When you can disguise yourself, Arya, you can fly. Can we do something to kind of like I have mitigate? A camouflage suit. <gasps> Martin, yes. A okay, bunch so of camouflage can we, suits. Can, can we do something? <laughs> to mitigate, yeah, it may slow you down. <laughs> but tree. to kind of like cover who we look, what we look like, so that we can kind of blend in. Hmm. First, I'm putting my disguise on. We could go try to kill those skeletons. And wear their heads. <laughs> it, is is we that could. a valid disguise in the world of uh, Yashan? 
not with charisma where mine is at, but maybe you guys. Okay, do we attack or hide from the immediate threat? Do we attack or hide from them? All in favor of hiding. Hide. Okay, I've got a dune <laughs> camouflage suit. Uh, the person who's most in a position to not be able to hide, I'd like to give that to them. Awesome. So um, to hide, I'm it'll gonna be... I'm going to put a... on a tree camouflage suit. So to hide tree. is a, a stealth check. Um, so whoever you give the dune suit to will get to roll a stealth check with with advantage. Gotcha. Who Who needs that kind of thing? I'm at plus one on stealth. Me too. So I have I have a disguise. It doesn't say what it is. So I don't know what that would look like. You have a disguise kit, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, does that mean like spirit gum and like a mustache and stuff? <laughs> Eye patch. <laughs> yeah, so you can use your disguise kit to form to create a disguise for yourself. And okay. you'll roll a d20 to see how good your disguise is, essentially. All right. So, so Arya, let me try that. Okay. Well, it went real far. I got a six. Awesome. Do I get a, 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 a an addition from anything? Uh, no. So, you um, you try to put something <laughs> together for your dis disguise kit, but like the enemies that you see are so unique and different that you can't really figure out how. To blend in because they're all so different um so just you're, you feel like your disguise probably isn't going to be effective okay okay it looks great well i'm probably <laughs> am i who's smaller are you maybe I'm one of us short come... uh -huh. you think you can fit in that tree costume with martin i'm five foot one or maybe you can fit in the cost the Dunes costume with me. Why don't we try to see if we can both wear the ah. Dune costume? I I I give both of them the Dune costume. Do we roll for squishiness? Uh so you're both going to try to fit into one costume? Yes. Okay, yes. so then uh you'll each need to roll uh stealth. So the the costume would give you advantage, but since you're both trying to fit into one costume. It, you would have to roll with disadvantage, but it'll cancel out with the advantage, so you just roll a flat stealth check. Okay. Do we have Great. to, like, average them for any given stealth check no. from here forward? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I got a two plus one, so <laughs> I'm just really doing great. Awesome. So you believe that you are one with the dunes. <laughs> we, believe we believe that? It. Does that mean it's true? <laughs> yeah, you feel like you're one with the dunes. Great. That's how we feel, maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, I got a plus two to my next skill check. I haven't used that yet from when I did the drugs. Oh, the yeah, drugs. that's right. Fire. That illegal <laughs> magic. Illegal magic. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Performance enhancing magic. <laughs> yes, the wacky magic. Okay, so does that help at all? You can use it now and that'll make your I'm... four a six, right? Oh, it was a three. It was a three and two a five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, also, Ar also, Aria rolled 13, so I'm thinking that in terms of squishiness to get inside the suit, pretty squishy. I'm, so, I'm above average squishy. Somehow, okay, so should I not spend it? So you can choose to use that if you would like. Um, also, earlier when you got inspiration, and you can choose to use that however you'd like. Um, mm -hmm. So you Don't all taunt me. <laughs> I'm just saying that I'm just giving you <laughs> options. Um, so you you all were able to fit two people into one suit somehow, um, and you feel like you're one with the dunes um, as you are sort of making your um, making your way to hide. You see that a pack of the um, skeletons come over, and uh, they hold on. Pack of okay. uh, so they uh, like come over and they're looking around, and then uh, they just kind of sh shamble off uh, as if they can't really tell what's happening. I, my leaves rustle in uh, relief. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, it seems that for now you avoided the throat. relief. Oh no. I don't want to embark on this with you, okay? I hit Martin. <laughs> embark. 
Okay, no, so we're all there. Anyway, what do you what do you all sixteen? To do? Rolled sixteen. Oh wait, why are we rolling? They're, they're getting into a fight no. with one another. Uh, so the, as the skeletons leave, you notice that the um, army that has left the city starts to head north um, toward uh, what you believe to be a drill. This is Which is towards thing. us. No, that's past you. So they, they've, the skeletons came to check out the mysterious tree and weird looking dunes. They didn't suspect anything and so they continued onward. Was I just like standing behind them? Just like... <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you attempt to hide or no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, we were all trying to hide. <laughs> then, I mean, I guess so, yeah. They, right, what, for whatever the reason, um, it seems like these skeletons probably aren't very smart. Um, so they just kind of shambled off. Rotten brains and all. Yeah. Lack of brains. <laughs> yeah, that'll do you in. <sighs> ah, I feel conflicted about leaving Stone Snarry at all. Okay. So... Which isn't to say we should stay. I'm just conflicted. Let us try to stealthily, and perhaps one person per disguise suit, uh, <laughs> try and make our way around the town and see if we can find Keith or any other survivors on the outskirts yes. of town. Okay. And then we will head to the dock, either steal a big ship or use your two canoes to hopefully beat those weird skeletons to a drill. Uh we can also just take a, a boat directly to uh, your dad's country, right? We're in the desert. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but well, there's, a, there's a dock there, so it means oh. there's water access. I thought you meant now. I was like, we can't do it now. But I wouldn't take the canoes all the way to Broken Rock. We'd probably need a better ship. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, gosh. If they're what headed is... up to a drill, and that's where our ships are, that also makes me nervous. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. I don't really want to be following in the wake of the Army of the Dead. Yeah, that might be the safest place to be. Get out ahead of them. Yeah. Yeah, but we need a boat. And if all of the ones in Stone Scenario are burned. Let, can we, while we're having this conversation, walk and talk as we shuffle across the, yes. uh, around the city and look for survivors? Classic for a good walk and talk. Yes. Oh, yeah. So if you're going into the city, I'm going to need No, you to we are not. Okay. Specifically. Around. around. No, okay, not. like literally we're... around. Sorry. What I'm do we like... roll for we're perception? Kind of <laughs> to see outskirts. if there's any survivors on the outskirts. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. I misunderstood. So if you're going around <laughs> the outskirts of the city, um, then you'll. You can make some perception checks. Um, so uh, <laughs> immediately, <laughs> you can make three perception checks, and we'll see um, how things go. I I got sixteen. Okay, awesome. Twelve, five, fourteen. Okay, awesome. Nope, that uh, actually twelve, seven, sixteen. Okay. Anyone else? Should we all, should we all do it's that? It's up to you. You can just use those, or you can. That person was a five. Nope, stay on the desk. Oh, and then the second one was a 20. A natural 20? Uh, yes. Okay, awesome. Third one is a uh, 12. Okay, so on um, Arya's nat 20, you notice that the um, dragon that you saw earlier is um, flying around the city, um, and there appears to be someone on its back. Uh, so you feel like the dragon may be... Uh, patrolling the city in the air, uh, searching for something. And you also see that there are several buildings that are still burning, and you can hear people screaming. Um, Mady and Martin, on your checks, you notice that um, the army that left um, the city, where they came from, out of the city gates, there seem to be more skeletons that are coming out of the gates and starting to spread around the perimeter behind you, so... It looks like they're they're planning to uh, surround the city. Have we seen the knife museum yet? Uh, no. So you are almost to the edge of town, um, and if who's who's what walking order are you in? Like who's in the front? I mean, it's got to be me. Okay, could you give me a perception check? Oh my god. 14, 15. 
Awesome. So you, as you all uh, sort of around the corner to the back side of town, you notice that even though most of the town is burning, it seems like the Knife Museum is not on fire. Um, there are some skeletons out in front of it. There are two skeletons seemingly guarding the entrance. But other than that, it looks not like it normally does. That's either very suspicious or very lucky. Can I maybe try and like yes. sneak attack them? Uh, the skeletons? Before we do that, can I roll for insight to see whether or not maybe... This is the first time I've suspected Keith, but like if the knife museum in a town full of fire is the only place not on fire and there's some like skeleton guards like just straight up guarding it, that that usually isn't the great sign for someone mm. not being involved in the in in some plots. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe. So for in Mady's defense, it is a knife museum. They might just want the knives. So you can roll a um, investigation. So inside is usually to find out someone's intentions. And unless you're rolling it on the skeletons, you won't be able to roll inside right now. Uh, okay. Uh, I rolled a 17 for wow. investigation. Awesome. So you notice that um, the, the skeletons that are waiting outside are not armed. And it seems like there are, um, there are maybe some people inside and you hear voices from the inside. That's definitely suspicious. Can we hear what they're saying? Not from where you are right now. Can you... we recognize any of the voices? Mm. Is one of them Keith? One of them is speaking a language that none of you understands. Oh. Are you sure? But... I know lots of languages. I know a couple languages. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, when... I took some language class. I took some language classes in my day in the Hero Academy. Mar <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> when you speak Draconic, right? Correct. This is when understands uh, and recognizes one of the voices. Uh, and it sounds... Oh, it's the half dragon. I don't know. Well, the half dragon oh, so... is flying ostensibly. We, I we think don't I know. Still... Yeah, we I don't think know? I saw that, but I'm not I, sure I that thought, I saw that. But Wynn knows. We saw a figure on the dragon. We don't right. know that it was the half dragon. Right. So I recognize Draconic, but I don't recognize the voice necessarily. No, you recognize Draconic that. and you recognize that it's the same voice that you spoke to at the Hero Academy. Oh, okay. Um, you can just say the half dragon. We all, that's the main thing on our minds all the time. I don't know, wait, man. Wait, so hold on. So we, but did, do we know for sure that it was her when we jumped through the portal? I think yeah, we saw she her. Had the, the we saw, saw her, her, right? She, she shoved her sword through Horatio. So yeah. it's, it's also like, it's not like this is a few seconds late. Like this, some time has passed while you had the conversation and. As we're walking. Walked uh, no, no, I, yeah. I, I get it. I, she has time to get there. I'm just like trying. We to... know she's our enemy. I'm gonna see if I can sneak closer. Is there like a back door, or are the skeletons guarding the only entrance to the night? Make an investigation check. Mm, yes. I thought my new rogue skills would give me benefit. No, but it's still a 21. Oh, snap. So, okay, you hey. see that there are several windows. There's also a back entrance that um, looks like it's some kind of supply door, like where they bring in new supplies and shipping crates and stuff. So there, it's like a giant garage door, essentially, in the back. Okay. Is that guarded? No, none, none of the windows or that garage door are guarded. I signal to our team and point at the garage door. Okay. <laughs> Do you oh. all, if, you, if you're going to oh. go into the uh, oh. garage, you need to make stealth checks. Oh, so the garage door is open or shut? It's open. Oh, oh. I was imagining yeah, I it being shut. I have a magic window, just don't forget. We have two. Okay. I'm gonna sneak into the I garage. mean, no. to be fair, yeah, it's a I'm magic sure window. It you can place it and go through it, even if the thing is already open. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to do that. Thank you, though. Okay, I, so are wait. These, like single-use magic windows. I assume they're sort of. <laughs> so yeah, once you place it, you can't them take off. it off. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So, so what I... is it? Stealth. Mm -hmm. Definitely just crit failed that. Oh no. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, what about what did everyone else get? You're welcome. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Okay. What about Martin? 
What am I rolling for? Stealth. Uh, that is 16. Awesome. Actually, so, actually, that would be uh, because it's I have a stealth suit on. That would be a uh, 17. Perfect. So you all um, are sneaking into the back uh, of the knife museum, and as you are getting in, um, Arya is so tall that uh, she bumps her head on the uh, garage door, and it makes a loud sound that kind of echoes through the building. Can I can I roll to do sort of do like a quick dash as a tree and like kind of make sure that no one can see us? Uh, and kind of some stuff in my branches in front of everybody. Why would there be a tree in a knife museum? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's so, why you roll for charisma. So you uh, you place your tree self in front of everyone. Let me roll for persuasion. Let me roll for persuasion. It feels good. I feel good about this. Sure. So a. Um, a uh, skeleton comes around the corner to investigate, and you can make a persuasion check to convince the skeleton that nothing's there. So, uh, that's a nine. Awesome. So, <laughs> the skeleton... like Plus it does, five, that's a nine. It, it, <laughs> it kind of, like, <laughs> stares for a moment with this hollowed-out eye sockets, um, and then turns around and, and goes back. Oh. oh, right, wow. you aren't very smart. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait, do we see anyone else, or do I hear anyone else, like, in the garage with us? In the garage, uh, you don't see anyone else. You can make <laughs> an, uh, you can make an investigation check to see if you can hear anyone else. Twelve. No, it seems like you all are the only people in there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I gesture for us all to continue sneaking. What does the garage look like? Like, are there crates and things and sure knives? Uh, oh, so, fancy knife. <laughs> right now, um, the garage <laughs> looks like um, a really empty warehouse, except there's a stack of giant boxes, and in the boxes are uh, scrolls. And a lot of the scrolls uh, have uh, the the symbol from the Destin pins on them. Can oh, do we roll to read? Uh, no, you can just uh, pick them up and start reading them. Um, Make a reading check. But uh, could <laughs> Arya, I should have just left him for dead, y'all. <laughs> Arya, could you make a? I'm sorry, maybe. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, who knows? You're not your family. We don't know for sure. I mean, he runs the Knife Museum. Does for he? His... For his family. For his family, yeah. Oh, okay. He seems very really hands-on. Arya, could you make an opposed grapple check? So that'll be oh, a um, strength check. Okay, well that's that's a decent stat for me. <gasps> 12. Awesome. So, um, as you all are sort of heading over toward... Um, the stack of scrolls, uh, a shadowy figure sort of comes out of the wall and attempts to grab Arya, but you are too swift and you get out of the way. Um, so now we we are in a combat situation now. Wow. Um, Makes sense. So, uh, Come at me, bro. Uh, actually, Arya, you're going to act first in initiative order. We pre-rolled initiative to make things a little faster. Mm. Um... I don't know, y'all. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and attack. Punch it. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I can try to flee, but that's not really my style. All right, we're gonna go with a quarter staff attack. Uh, 18. Awesome. So, um, an 18 hits and uh, roll damage. So my damage says like 1d6 plus 2 and then slightly smaller underneath it 1d8 plus 2 and I think that might be a proficiency thing, um, but I'm not sure. So I'm pretty sure it's, a, you can use a quarter staff one-handed or two-handed, right? So uh, the, it's probably if you use it one-handed, yeah, then it's the first, it the d6, yeah. and if it's two-handed, then it's the, uh, okay. yeah. Um, I have two, no, two weapon fighting. Okay. So is that just a choice I make, or is there any sort of Yeah, you can, you can choose how you would like to wield it. 
I think we're all right. Yeah, let's go with two hands. Okay, awesome. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh oh shit nine. Awesome. So um, yeah, you uh, pull out your quarter staff and strike at the shadow, um, and as you do, your staff passes through its uh, its body. Guys. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> uh, so now it is going to be Wynn's turn. I just sort of think maybe Arya just maybe missed it. So I'm going to try and stab it with my sword. Sure thing. <laughs> uh, go for it. Great. Um, so I'm going to stab it with my rapier. Fantastic. Does a 14 hit? It does, yes. Great, fantastic. So I'm going to stab it with that rapier. Now I am going to say, since Win, uh, I am Win. Since Arya is an enemy of the shadow creature and within five feet of it, I do get my sneak attack bonus. Awesome. So the regular damage is six. And then because of my sneak attack, I roll, I believe it's 2d6. Bam, Ooh, bam. Go. I know. I'm using D&D Beyond's magic. Great, so six plus eight, that's 14, right? That's how math works? Uh, yes. Yes. No, yes. <laughs> uh, so, um, as you lash out with your rapier, uh, the shadow, like half of its form starts to dissipate, uh, but it's still there. And now we're going to go to... But does it seem like it worked? Like, did it seem like it took damage or it avoided the damage? It seems like whatever you did, half of it is no longer there. Oh, um, good. Okay, so I'm oh, good at stabbing. Thank God. <laughs> well, also that means that we can use weapons because that's really all I'm good for. So and now Apparently it's the stabby kind, and not so much the wacky kind. Interesting. Um, yes. Hold on. Let me see. Do I want to like hide or disengage or anything? Just trying to think of any of my other magic skills. Yeah, I am going to uh, use my cunning action to make. Uh, to take the disengage action and then walk away real quick. <laughs> awesome. So you uh, slash out at it and disengage and you take a few steps back. Um, and the shadow is going to, um, with the remaining half of its body that's left, reach out and stick his hand into Arya's body uh, and attempt to uh, attack you that way. So does a 16 hit you? Yeah. It does. Awesome. So, uh, in that case, you take... Oh, jeez. Is it just me, or does uh, Arya, despite not being the tank of the party, just you take a whole lot of damage in every single encounter? She's not very clever. <laughs> not uh, very tactical. So just run up and punch! You yeah. take 11 points of necrotic damage. Oh, no. And uh, your strength score... <laughs> goggles. <laughs> and your strength score is reduced by two. Um, oh. Until you take a long rest. So it reaches oh. his hand into your body, and you all can see some of the life force being drained out of Arya into this creature. I don't like that. No. And... It took 11 points okay. of damage. And now... Are you okay? <laughs> well, that dragon lady gave me, like, an extra 10 bonus points, so... Uh, yes. Now it's Mady's turn. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get out my battle axe. Awesome. And I equipped it, so now I know how to do it. <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right, so it says 1d8 plus 3 slashing, and my hit is plus 5. Okay. So... All right, so I rolled an eight. Help me figure this out. Okay, so you rolled a, a d20, you got an eight, so now add... No, I did a d8. Okay, so first you have to roll to see if you attack, if you hit. If you oh, attack. Uh, okay, okay, so... Sorry, bear with me. Yeah, no worries. So you roll a d20, and then you'll add your uh, attack bonus no, to it. I, I got a two. I don't even know if there's an addition, but I can't imagine that it was going to do I anything. mean, you never know. It's plus five, you just said it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you got a seven? Yes. 
Okay. Still. So you uh, swing out with your weapon, but unfortunately you miss. Uh, you you slash through the side of it that's no longer there. Um, do you have a second attack? Or bonus What action? do you mean? So sometimes, uh, especially as a fighter, or, or some fighting classes, they have additional attacks, so you can attack multiple times. Um, so if you have an additional attack or a bonus action, you can use that also. All right, let me see here. I'm going to step back and just, that's all I'm doing. Sure thing. I'm done with my turn. <laughs> so now we're going to go to Martin. Okay. Uh, so does anyone have recommendations for what they would like me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I recommend you hit it with something that's not a physical attack, since it doesn't seem to really like our physical how, Yeah, I wonder how shocking user, yeah. grasp might go. Is that what yeah. grasp? And now I'm like, I don't know. Grasp the shadow. <laughs> uh, I've got the classic uh, magic missile. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I might. It, was there an innuendo? There might have been an innuendo. I, I don't know. Anything. I didn't say. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> How is magic missile funny to you? Especially the classic magic missile. Okay, if you don't understand, I'm not going to explain to you. I'm gonna have some more of my caffeinated seltzer over here and just be quiet. Okay, so shock and grasp is. It's not a touch. It is lightning springs from your hand to deliver a shock to a creature. Uh, it is within uh, touch and range. So having <laughs> seen that it's a real bad time to, uh, it's a real bad time for anyone that tries to just like punch it or something, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna rustle on over to this guy <laughs> and then try and uh, do a lightning zap. Okay, awesome. Uh, so this is lightning grasp, right? This is shocking grasp. Lightning springs from your hand to deliver a shock to a creature you try to touch. Okay. So I don't have to touch it. Li the lightning is technically the thing touching it. Okay. It's magic. So uh, is there a <laughs> saving throw for this or how does this work? Uh, the So it's instantaneous, at will, 1d8 damage. Uh, and on a hit, the target takes 1d8 lightning damage and it can't take reactions till the start of its next turn. Uh, it's hit DC is just, it's just a plus four for me. So I, I don't know if we just do a roll for attacking. Yes, so make an attack roll and add a four to it. Okay, so that's 15. Awesome, so that hits, uh, so roll damage. Brad, uh... Sorry, uh, that's two. <laughs> two? All right, awesome. So you um, you release this uh, blast of lightning from your hand and it electrifies um, the shadow. And it seems like uh, it really did some serious damage to it. There's a, an electrical pulse that goes up and down its body. And now we're gonna go back to the top of the round. It's Arya's turn again. I think I'm mostly just going to disengage and mosey away. Okay. Roll to mosey. <laughs> Roll to mosey. Awesome. So you uh, take the disengage action and take a few steps back and now we're going to go to win. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to hit it again with my rapier because I'm good, I, I'm good <laughs> at that. <laughs> uh, I can do that one. Um, all right. Does a 17 hit? It does. Nice, nice. Uh, okay. Brad. And is Mady is still next to it, right? And technically Martin is. As well. uh, that's he correct. Does. He touched it with his hand. <laughs> like this. <laughs> uh, okay, good. That means I can sneak attack again. I'm very sneaky. I'm just darting under people's legs. <laughs> yeah, you're very, very You dart sneaky. through my tree stealth suit to yeah. stab it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> 10 for normal, uh, uh, hold on. I've, I'm using the, the D&D Beyond one and rolling my sneak attack this hard. 
Oh, yeah, baby. All right, that's 21 damage from Sneak. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so um, you come out of the, the tree costume and skewer the shadow right through the head. And as you do, it dissipates in a puff of smoke. Uh, and the shadow is no more. Um, However, can we read the thing that we were just trying to read before now? We just want to read a scroll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Martin, you pick up the scroll, uh, and on the scroll there are orders from. Um, it looks like from Zandara, which is one of the larger metropolis cities, and the orders are for the destined to uh, escort each of the leaders from the different cities to Zandara for a uh, emergency meeting. Keith isn't corrupt. He's a politician. Oh. Corrupt? Yes. Potentially. Is it this is, this Keith is disturbing or is it news. His family? See, I'm not sure about how the Knife Museum works. It has a very confusing corporate structure. <laughs> and why is there a crate full of these notes, though? They're going to distribute them. Mm. They were. <laughs> may not have distributed them. Either they were going to distribute them or they collected them, kind of like it, buying all the newspapers when you don't want people to get the news. Is there is there time to happen? Is there time to uh, is there time slash is it wise to check what's happening inside Night Museum? Just look in real quick, see if Keith is there and if he's involved in shenanigans. We could is there, like, Before a we door do that, into the museum that we could listen at first. Uh, so Mady had a thing that. Uh, before we do that, yes. Before Before we do that, I want to grab one of those scrolls and stick it in my pocket. Awesome. So you uh, take one of the scrolls, and uh, the way that the garage is set up uh, is that there's sort of a wall, like a, a corner that you have to round, and once you go into, around that corner, you can gather that that's probably into the rest of the night museum itself. Can I go up to that corner, but not around it and listen? Sure. Give me an investigation check. Or investigation. let's make it a perception check. Perception check. Uh, nine. Awesome. So you hear voices, uh, but you can't really make out how many or where they are. Speaking a language I don't know. Um, you hear uh, someone speaking a language you don't know, but you also hear like a lot of really uh, hollow breaths and whispers. Hmm. Hmm. It's not Aarakocrin, Aurin, Celestial, or Undercommon, is it? It is not. Guys, I hear people speaking a language I still don't know. Does it sound like this? And then I just say, like, hi, Arya, this is what Draconic sounds like. It does. <laughs> it sounds like that. Oh, it does? It sounds <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. I heard that earlier. Okay. <laughs> Okay, quick huddle, quick glee, glee team huddle. Um, hmm. All in favor of going in there and stealing Keef, even though he may or may not be corrupt, raise your hand. I, Mady is the, the person, I'm, I look over at Mady to see if uh, she's raised her hand and she's already preemptively raised her hand. And so I'm like, okay, I all raise right. it. If he's branch. corrupt, we can question him. And if he's not, yes. we should probably save him. Yes, okay. we've come this far, you guys. He needs us. I need <laughs> him. Should we, should, Let's work speaking, this out. Speaking of needs, uh, do you, do you want to heal Arya? <laughs> oh, yeah. I give her a potion. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I had 10 temp health points from the potion the half dragon gave me the first time. So I'm only mm -hmm. down one hit point. We're, we're, we're cool for now. But okay. okay. Keep that potion. I'll Put just, it in yeah. your pocket. I'll just hold on to it. You I feel like you might lot. need it. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is smart. Yeah, I don't know why um, Mady never gets stabbed. It's literally always Arya. <laughs> I'm not sure Super why you <laughs> Super careful. Okay, so we have to figure out what's going on and how we can get around there. Uh, does anybody have a periscope? You know, to like look around the uh, corner. Um, let me look. <laughs> well, with my money powers, I can, I can see the movement of the markets. 
That'll, that gives me a little bit of farsight. Hey, it's just a little bit of... How's the economy of uh, Stone's Nari right now? <laughs> uh, On it, fire. There, there is some new economic opportunities that have opened up, particularly in the service and uh, uh, emergency uh, supply provision uh, things. Toilet paper has gone way up because man, bowel movements are happening all over the place. Uh, for those hey. who is employ custodial services, those stocks are gonna go way up. Mm. Now, stocks of say, taverns and other gathering places, those are going way down. Yeah. Let me stop you here because I suspect we are actually having this conversation in the hallway and I really don't wanna get caught talking about <laughs> economics. I have a steel mirror that maybe I can I'm, like ooh, like peek around, look the... around the a corner. Could I try that? It's in my that's, cloak. That's much better. Uh, also, I do love how you you didn't say you didn't want to get caught. You said I don't want to get caught talking about economics. Right. <laughs> you said like, you were talking about what to do. The Fine. ultimate a different kind of money wizard. Yeah, the <laughs> ultimate crime. So um, you can have a point of initiative for using your mirror to uh, look around the corner. So what that means is you essentially get a reroll uh, okay. of your choice whenever you want to use it. You can use it yourself or give it to one of your teammates. Um, so you use your mirror to look around the corner and you can make a perception check with advantage. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Can I only get point one? Plus plan. So I got an eight, so a nine, and an 11, 12. So 12. Awesome. So you uh, use your mirror to look around the corner, and you can see um, uh, Keith is there, and his arms are tied up behind his back, yes! and he's on his knees. Um, there are uh, two dead bodies next to him, uh, and you can gather that that's probably his parents. And you see uh, the half dragon from earlier is there with um, four skeletons and uh, two scarecrows uh, with her. And these okay. ones are armed. Okay, so I turn around and tell everybody, if they can't see it, I tell them, okay, Keith's good. He's tied up. His parents are dead. There are four skeletons, two um, scarecrows and the dragon. We have to save him. So, first thing that comes in my mind is we still got those destined brooches, right? The dragon, we're burned with the dragon, remember? But we are burned with the dragon, <gasps> but not the tree, tree man, <laughs> dead lover. <laughs> Wynn got really excited because she thought you were talking to her and her ability to change her face. <laughs> And then she heard you say tree man, and he, she's just like, oh. <laughs> You were so close, Martin. <laughs> yes, I like the idea. Let's send Win in. All four plans, send Win in. Uh, we, we were all thinking that we'd send Win in. Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of take a step back and hang my head a bit. <laughs> uh, what was your last one see... again, though? What? Are we all just gonna let Dead Lover like slip? Because it's an army of the dead. <laughs> dead lover. Yeah, we're just gonna <laughs> we were all gonna right past it. it. <laughs> yeah, Aria, we were just gonna. <laughs> Speaking of though, you, you're a stealthy win, so there's also a chance that depending on where Keep's position is, you could slice his bonds, escort him out before they have a chance to, unless they're looking directly at him. You got a chance to be stealthy. Were they How's your performance? Him? I mean, I'm your hype man. I literally talk to everyone when we take a job. You yeah, know I'm good at this. talking to people. <laughs> Why are we arguing about this? When you've got to go in, her. you've got to go in and get him. Okay. What face? Oh, what about the half dragon's face? <laughs> <laughs> um. What if it's can, can, Horatio? Like sh she stabbed him. I know. That would really mess with our head. head because it's like he's not actually. Let's dead. not try to do mind games with the giant stabby sword, plate armor, uh, half dragon, uh, nemesis creature. What Here's about the somebody thing. from a different place? We so. saw a skeleton. What about. We, there's a shadow creature who's already supposed to be in this room. What if you impersonate a shadow creature? Yeah, let me see. I'm trying to see if my. What my um, shape change lets me do. 
Because I don't know. Uh, I can make myself look like a member of another race, although none of my stuff change. And it sort of has to look like a human, but I think I can so make myself look like a shadow creature. I can't you see why I could. You stabbed it through a head. It has a head. It's it's got like one of the many. It's got one of the key ingredients of a human. Yeah, I think as long as it has the same basic arrangement of limbs as me, like humanoid, so I think I can look like it. It does not have legs. Uh, it, ha uh, it had arms and a head, but it did not have legs. I, can I sacrifice? So my tree stealth suit so that you can disguise your legs. So you <laughs> just got, tree? so you got like, it's it's just, a, it, what is, what is it? What, if you don't have legs, you basically got a trunk. I will sacrifice it. Okay, you okay. Kill the so, tree. Did you get, when did you get a good look at that skeleton minotaur? Maybe you can look like that and say, hey, I came back because I was sent back to get Keith because of something, I, I that's as far as I can. I don't know how to do this stuff. All I know is how to hit things with a hammer. Yeah, I let was me hope... just be a oh, skeleton minotaur. Saying... Awesome, skeleton minotaur. <laughs> so you uh, change it to a skeleton minotaur, and I, uh, I was hoping the heroic sacrifice of my tree would be worth something. No, I get to stay a tree. Boom. <laughs> I would never take that from you, Martin. <laughs> All right. So I'm a skeleton minotaur. I didn't hear his voice, so I'm just doing a voice that I think is skeleton minotaur voice. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't talk, but we're finding out, I guess. <laughs> and then oh. I put the destined pin on. And I quickly whisper some different phrases and in minotaur into her ear so that she can speak minotaur if she needs to. Awesome. But I would recommend speaking draconian. Fair. Okay. And then I just stride into the room like I belong there. Awesome. So can, <laughs> can we all have? We're, we're all watching through the mirror. With the mirror, yes. Yeah. Great. Okay. So uh, when, as the skeleton minotaur, you start to walk into the room. As you do, you see that the skeletons have sort of taken uh, a position at the corners of the room, uh, making sure that they're ready to strike in case an enemy comes in. Uh, I'm ready an attack of opportunity uh, of uh, kind of ready an action in case things go sideways. Yeah. So what, what action would you like to ready? Uh, I'd like to. Uh, I will mix it up, and I'd like to prepare just a, a regular old quarter staff hit. Uh, if some, if they try to, if if an enemy comes within range of the door and things have gone sideways. Okay, awesome. So if an enemy comes close to where you all are, or if things break out into a fight, then you'll have your action. Cool. Uh, so uh, what were you going to say, Mady? I want to ready an action, too. Of course. If anybody goes towards Keef, I'm going to run in there and hit him with a hammer. Awesome. So if somebody harms a hair <laughs> on my precious boy's head, then you're going into combat. Uh, what about yes. you, Arya? Any ready to actions? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for be ready to like swoop in and pull Win out of range in case an enemy attempts to attack her. Awesome. So if if Win is in danger, you will fly in and tip to swoop her up. Correct? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So the plan is in place, uh, and <laughs> as uh, Minotaur Skeleton Wind walks into the room. You see that the Scarecrows are flanking either side of uh, Keith, and the Half-Dragon has her sword on her shoulder and is saying something in Draconic to Keith. and he's... Uh, I'll get there. So he, he has, like, tears streaming down his face, and you can see that he um, isn't able to understand what she's saying. Uh, you hear that she's saying... Um, your parents promised that they would provide us with weapons. Where's the weapons for my army? But he's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. And you killed my parents. I, the, what's happening? Uh, so you walk in on this scene happening. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to walk right up to the half dragon and give her the salute that we did to each other the first time. Awesome. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to say, I was told you needed help translating in Draconic. 
Uh, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh that's. Wow. You get another so point of inspiration for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, and yet, when I want to turn into a tree named Tree Man Dead Lover, no points of inspiration grant. I mean, I see Dead Lover! Dead Lover's a good name. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> um, so she uh, looks at you and says, um, uh, General Dilkus, uh, I thought that you were headed <laughs> toward, uh, toward a drill. Why are you back here? I was ordered to return to assist you with gathering weapons. She kind of sighs and she's like, well, no matter. I'm glad you're here. I can't understand anything that this peasant is saying. And we need to find out where our weapons are. Of course. I turn to Keith and I say in common, I say, <laughs> uh, the half dragon wants to know where <laughs> your parents hid weapons. And also Mady is behind the door and we're going to try and get you out of here. <laughs> He's like, what? What are you talking about? You're... What? Don't, don't make him happy. Don't make him too happy, because then he'll give it away. But you need to tell us where the weapons are uh, so that they don't <laughs> get in in the hands of the Destin. I don't know about any weapons. I just I just worked here when I wasn't going to school. It's a knife museum. Where are the knives? <laughs> Let me... um. Mm, and I'm like listening to him and I turn back to the half dragon and I'm like, mm, he's playing hard to get. He doesn't want to give up the secrets. Let me try something. And I lean down to him like I'm and I'm like talking to him and whispering to him like and I'm looking very threatening, but I'm going to try and take out my knife and cut his ropes while I'm doing it. OK, uh, go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. I want to use my inspiration. <laughs> okay, so uh, roll a slide of hand with advantage. Then. All right, 17. I did need it. <laughs> okay, awesome. So um, you are able to cut um, the restraints on his arms without anyone noticing. He's like, what? What are you doing? I don't understand. Oh, he's such a dumb, dumb. Dumb, brilliant boy, please. <laughs> Keith, I need you to play along, and we're gonna get you out of here. How do you know my name? Oh, dear God! <laughs> Keith, we spent literally all day yesterday together. <laughs> he's looking at this scary uh, minotaur skeleton, and he's like, I've never seen you before. You had a beautiful date with Mady, and we wanted you to come with us before all this fighting broke up. So oh. just let us rescue you. Are you some kind of stalker? Are you following oh, us? Oh my god. <laughs> she has no and idea that she's a shapeshifter, guys. I know. But like, <laughs> magic exists. <laughs> Come on, like Keith. Like a playful Pick up back, a hint. Like, pretend to do a backhand, but not actually trying to hurt him. Uh, so you slap him a little bit, and um, you see uh, the half-dragon's like, I like your initiative. Yeah, we should start torturing him. And you he, see the scarecrows, like, uh, oh, their yeah. hands turn into claws, and they're like, <sighs> and they start to, like, start to get closer to him. Oh, uh, yes, of course. But he just began talking to me. I don't think we need to pull out the big guns yet. I think you should send two of these, uh, your, your team here, to check out a secret room under the knife museum. That's where he said that his parents hid things. Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, 24. Awesome. So she's like, uh, you see she nods and uh, looks at the scare the skeletons by the door. Um, and she's like, go check out the secret uh, basement. And so those two skeletons start to walk back towards where the garage is. I hope my party can take them out quietly. Um, I hope so too. Yeah. But as they turn their back, I want to um, use the knife that was already in my hat hand and stab the half dragon. Okay. No! <laughs> what so, an Arya move. <laughs> so this is awesome. So what we're going to do is 
Oh, you made him so happy. It's going to go so cool. We'll Win, re <laughs> Win realized as soon as the skeletons were leaving that the fight was about to break out in the hallway and my team is not quiet. So she was like, better get a sneak attack now. Um, we also have we also have a prepared, <laughs> Martin's prepared action, right? That's and true. mine. So my yes. team is not quiet. So everybody has their prepared action. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll say the skeletons are walking toward the hallway. They haven't gotten there yet. And let's resolve everyone's prepared actions. Then we can resolve when stealth attack. Uh, and then we'll go into initiative order for combat. So um, I think, Martin, you had a prepared action in case people get close to uh, the, door. the door. Yeah. So let's, when you say the door, you mean like where you all are? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and resolve your... Um, action as the skeletons start to get closer. Do I roll for DC or? So you roll to uh, attack, so you'll roll a d20 and uh, you said you're using a staff, right? Or staff, yeah. Okay, so there should be an attack uh, bonus modifier, so you'll add that to your uh, roll. And then there's a separate okay. modifier for damage. Uh, that's an 8. Awesome, so an 8 uh does not hit for the skeletons, um, but you uh, step out from behind the wall and make a swipe at the skeletons, and uh, one of them blocks your attack with uh, their sword. And then, uh, Arya, your prepared action was to sweep up Wynn if she was attacked, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're actually. Wind has not been attacked yet. Yeah, she hasn't. Right. That hasn't been triggered. And maybe yours was if Keith is attacked, then you are going to attack. So Keith was slapped, but <laughs> Keith was slapped by Win. So <gasps> that hasn't triggered yet. Um, right. So now <laughs> I was let's. Like, That's not it. Yeah. So I was let's so amused go. by the possibility that you were gonna like fly into action on some weird technicality because of that. <laughs> 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 she comes out and attacks me. Like, no. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, it's confusing. <laughs> so, uh, Win, go ahead and roll your stealth attack against um, this half dragon. Oh, 22. Okay, <laughs> a 22 hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. All right. So I am. I only used my dagger, so that's 5 damage plus 2d6 for sneak attack. Okay, well, 9 damage. Not great, but still good. So 9 total? Yeah. All right, awesome. So you... Um, as, as she commands the skeletons, uh, she turns back to you and you stab her uh, right in between some of the gap in her armor. And she looks at you with like burning rage. <laughs> and, and I say to her in Draconic, I say, you have let down the destined. You will die. Uh, and so we're gonna go to initiative order. Arya, you're first. Oh, uh, like uh, jeez. So oh, we aren't rolling for initiative again? This is just a permanent initiative? We're just going to use the same initiative from before. Okay. Um, so, Arya, uh, let me give you all sort of a, a layout of where everything is. So in the hallway leading towards the main room, there are two skeletons. In the main room, there are two other skeletons, two scarecrows, and the half dragon. So four skeletons total, two scarecrows, and a half dragon. They're all within 30 feet, so you could um, move around. However, if you are if you pass by an enemy, they'll get an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah. So does my prepared action um, still work in continuous rounds, or do I have to re-prepare it? Uh, so... If that makes sense. Yeah. It, usually you have to, on your turn, you'll have to... Uh, ready in action, so you'll have to okay. ready it again. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and attack one of our skeleton friends that are coming near. Awesome. Go ahead and roll uh, an attack. Yeah, I think we're gonna do the quarter staff. Aw, seven. Okay, a seven does not hit. So, um, as Martin swings at one, you swing at the other, and they both block your attacks uh, with their <sighs> swords. Uh, so now we're gonna go to win. It is your turn. So you stabbed uh, <laughs> this half dragon in the surprise round, and now what are you gonna do? 
I am going to, so I, we leveled up in between recordings, and I am now in Inquisitive Rogue. So I have a trait called Insightful Fighting, and as a bonus action, I can make an insight check against a creature I can see, and they have to make a contesting deception check. If I succeed, I can use my sneak attack on that creature, even if normal sneak attack rules don't apply. So if I don't have advantage or I don't have an ally with me. Awesome. So let me make a um, beautiful insight check. 16. Awesome. Uh, well, she rolled a 10. So yeah, you were successful. Grace. So now I, I got her number, and I'm going to stab her with my rapier this time. <laughs> awesome. Are you still... Do you just, like, release the dagger and try to stab another thing inside of her? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have two hands. So... <laughs> I'm a... I figure I'm a shape changer, so I'm ambidextrous, right? Like, that makes sense. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> so I stab her with the rapier in the other hand. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so go ahead and make an attack roll. Uh, yes. 18. In 18 hits. Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Rapier and two sneak attack. 14 damage total. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dang. So, uh, one sec. Wynn prefers to talk her way out of trouble, but she can stab things. Oh, well, okay. nice. That sounds Apparently like... Martin and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Also, when that sounds like a statement you make before things go horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think we're there. I think that's happened yeah. already. You have one uh, knife in between uh, her armor stabbed into her, and you take out your rapier and stab her again. Um, and as you do, are you still uh, in skeletal minotaur form? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's an action for me to change my shape, so I'm not changing it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, as you do, uh, all of the other enemies in the room kind of hiss at you. Um, they can't. Uh, you seemingly they can't speak, um, and uh, the uh, half dragon shouts to them, and she's like, "Kill the traitors!" Um, and it is now. Um, oh. This is there's an opportunity for me to use um, an action uh, when I well when it comes to me I can either attack or do an action right. Uh, yes. So uh, an attack counts as an action. You can also do other stuff for an action. Cool. Uh, is it my action yet? It is not. Um, Dang. I'm sorry. Uh, so now it is actually the half dragon's turn. Uh -oh. um, so she is going uh to. Oh, okay. Wow. Murder me. She's gonna murder me. <laughs> um. <laughs> you know what? She just got stabbed, so she's angry. She's not thinking straight. Uh, so she is going to, um, <laughs> since you're right up in her face, she's going to use her breath weapon on you. Mm, that's um, right. So go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. 16. 16? Awesome. You saved. So, um, ah. you take. Hold on. I don't think I have enough dice. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> the scariest thing he's ever said. <laughs> I might go down, my friends. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. That tracks. Um, so, you take. Uh, 12 points of damage. It, it, that's, it was 24, but it was half the 12 because you saved. Um, oh. And the knife museum. We should not. Oh, wait, fight. you're you standing see. right by Keith, right? So let me make a <gasps> save for him. No! Keith saves. Does Keith take 12? Oh. He, he does take 12 points of damage. Uh, he saved. So, made it. you haven't gone yet, and you read it in action during the surprise round. So, technically, this counts as the condition that you set. Um, yes, you'll need to does. pass by the two skeletons uh -huh. to get to him, so they'll get attacked. I, I, feel, I feel like because of the context under which the action was prepared, and because you've got two skeletons who are blocking us, their swords are embedded in our quarter staffs, I think she should be able to just run through. Oh, you know, I mean, that is a good good point. So uh, you can mm. attempt to go attack the half dragon. The skeletons will have disadvantage on you since they're engaged with your party members. 
Yeah, yeah, that's, I want to do that. Okay. See, Martin and I are helping. Uh, and what is your armor class? Okay, let's see, hold on. 18. Awesome, Ooh, so, nice. uh, one of the skeletons uh, sort of dis disengages with your friends, <laughs> tries to swipe at you, and uh, Martin blocks it again. The other skeleton uh, tries to swipe at you, throws his sword down, and is now unarmed because he rolled a natural one. And you uh, <laughs> run up to the half dragon and you can make your attack. Okay, so I run up to the half dragon. I look at, um, I look at Keith and give him a wink, and then I pull out my <laughs> hammer and I just like try to smash her. Awesome. <clears throat> Keith just like, oh, matey, you came to save me. Yeah, Yuck, baby. Swoons. Aw. <laughs> okay, so real talk here. I rolled a two. Oh. Uh, now, do I get an addition for anything? Uh, you do get an attack uh, bonus. So. Attack. Okay. No. Yeah. Can no? I give Where her my good? extra inspiration? It's awesome. Yeah, okay. you sure can if you would like. All right. Oh, right. I am giving you my extra, or you have an inspiration, but I will give you mine. Okay, I just got a nine, so 14. 14, awesome. So um, a 14 also does not hit. Um, uh -huh. So you come up and you wink at Keith and he's kind of blushing and then you swing uh, your hammer, right? So uh, and the half dragon- My war hammer. Your war yes. hammer, she catches it uh, <laughs> in her hand. And she's like, um, I was hoping that you would be here so I could kill you myself. Not today. Awesome. So you okay. say not today. You all are engaged in a fierce battle. Um, the Knife Museum has started to catch fire. Also. Oh. Uh, oh. What? Uh, uh, from her breath weapon around where ah. Wynn and uh, Mady and Keith are. And now, uh, so that was the half dragon's turn. Yo, there's a lot of enemies. Team. No, that was just my turn. Uh, no, no so that was your ready to action. So you, you still have a turn oh. later. Oh my gosh. Right. Sorry. I'm excited. Yeah. I didn't know that one. Awesome. Okay. So, there are a lot of enemies in this scene. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, Carmen, check, check. there are. There's a lot of enemies in this scene. <laughs> don't have we enough dice. We should really try to grab Keith and hit the road, I think. It is now, uh, actually, it's Mady's turn now. Oh boy. So All right, like so do? I try to think real hard about what I think my party would want me to do right now. You see, you, okay. you, you imagine all of our voices in your head in this moment, right? What would they say to me Run! in my mind? I mean, I'm feeling like a I'm dead lover. Okay. So as so, you're looking in your mind's eye, the fire rages. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> listen, we're locked. We're locked right in this. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to smash her with the hammer. One more time. <clears throat> okay. Go for it. 18 plus five. Awesome. So that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Okay. 1d8 plus three. Oh God, it just fell. It was a six. <laughs> a six? All right, awesome. So. So nine, nine. Nine altogether. Yeah, nine. She, uh, she catches your uh, hammer and tells you that she's going to kill you. You say, not today. Take your hammer back and swing again. And you come down across her, knocking uh, uh, most of her armor, cleaving it away. And uh, yes! she's bleeding uh, very badly. She's very badly hurt. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to turn and say, Keith, we're going to get you out of here, kid. <laughs> Is there anything else Mady would like to do on her turn? Okay, cool. So I just rolled for the building. It rolled a natural one. Uh, oh, no. So uh, the fire spreads like so quickly and you all are uh, in this burning knife museum. Um, some rubble from the ceiling crashes down and blocks the, the front entrance. Um, and so the front entrance is blocked by thick flaming beams. Um, and now it is the Scarecrow's turn. So, uh, Wynn, uh, could you give me a wisdom save, please? Oh no, I mean, I can. Mmm, how's a three? Perfect. <laughs> Good? Oh, good. So, um, <laughs> as you're engaged in a ferocious battle with um, this half dragon uh, and the 
room around you is on fire. One of the scarecrows, like through the dark mist, his eyes are a emulsive orange, and it looks at you and his teeth grow into giant fangs, and you are magically frightened from his terrifying gaze. Um, so what that means that you are currently under the paralyzed condition. Um, so what? you cannot oh. move uh, or take actions until uh, you, you have to make a wisdom save on your turn. And uh, once is, is there you, anything that a teammate can do to, the, to dispel that or help with that? Um, so if you have, there are some things you can do, yes. Um, I, I almost told you what it is, but I'm not going to tell you because... Yeah, but that wouldn't be fun. So the other, yeah, well, that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> the other uh, scarecrow hey, comes up and with its hands that turn into talons, takes two swipes at you, uh, made or uh, win, and it's like, <laughs> and he hisses at you. Um, and great. What is your AC? It's not great. It's thirteen. Perfect. Uh, yeah, it is. It's so perfect. <laughs> awesome. So it hits you twice. Great. Um, and you take. Oh, that um, I would love it to be five damage. Uh, well, it's your lucky day. Uh, you, well, kind of. You actually take six uh, points of Ooh. slashing damage as it uh, tears at you with its claws. I love that journey for Wynn because she is unconscious now. Oh, really? Okay, so uh, you were paralyzed from one of the scarecrow stairs and the other slashes at you, uh, cutting into your uh, flesh and knocking you unconscious. Super. Do you turn back into your normal form when you're unconscious? Just or trying you... to Google that. If, I don't know if it's a rule or not. Okay, let's, um, let's make a house rule right now. What do you think? I would say think? yes. I okay. would say for the fun of storytelling, cool. when I go unconscious, I re revert back to my changeling form. Awesome. And we've all seen the changeling form, right? We aren't horrified? Yeah. Cool. My party has. I mean, I didn't tell Keith. <laughs> you, you, Keith doesn't have any clue. You fall unconscious and you uh, turn into your uh, normal form. And the skeletons and scarecrows are like really confused because um, they thought you were their traitorous commander. Now it is the skeleton's turn. Um, oh my god. So the two that are still <laughs> in the room are going to come over and uh, attempt to attack. One is going to try to attack Mady, the other is going to try to finish off Wynn. So. Um, oh no. <laughs> oh hey, right. Guys, these, they're, they're, they're killers. In that room still um, Oh, actually, yeah. So this, the one skeleton is going to stay in the corner, the farthest corner, and try to shoot Wynn with uh, its short bow. And, and uh, so it... And during this time, like, I'm, I, I still... I've rolled low enough initiative that this is just happening. <laughs> so you are engaged in a, a struggle with one of the skeletons. Uh, the one in the corner takes a short bow out and takes a shot at Wynn, attempting to uh, kill you, but Keith catches it. And he's like, I've had enough of these skeletons. And he takes out uh, two uh, giant short swords and charges yes. at the skeleton in the corner. Um, short swords are just long knives. Oh. <laughs> and I yell, be careful, baby. And uh, he I'm so glad I gave him, I cut him free. That was a great <laughs> use of my time. Yeah, yeah. that's stellar. Uh, the other skeleton takes a swipe at Mady and uh, he tries to swipe at you but misses. Um, so now we're gonna go to... Power couple, power. <laughs> <laughs> it is now Martin's turn. Okay. So I have a Ooh. question. Yes. <laughs> is it possible to trade places and in initiative? Um, so you can hold your turn. Um, so what that means is you go after someone else uh, or wherever you choose to hold your turn for. Um, and then you move to that place in the initiative order. Okay. Okay. So, I leveled up during our last, uh... We, I leveled up during our last, uh, between our last session, which means I now have access to level two spells. Yes. Uh, yes, Martin Money. We're still in a knife museum filled with knives, correct? There are knives lining the walls, yes. 
I've got a, a level two catapult can do a 4d8 hit effect on anything that it hits. So awesome. I'm going to... Uh, with... I try to catch his eye and give him this look saying, do you have anything that might put out a fire? I, I, I mean... That's all. So do, with, the... do with that look as you will. That, that totally... Because like a lot of my... You'd be surprised, but a lot of my uh, spell sheet uh, revolves around causing flames. <laughs> That's right, I forgot you were the pyro. Okay. Well, I'm a tiefling as well, so like I've got this thing called Hellish Rebuke, where I point my <laughs> finger and the creature that damaged me is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. Okay. Um, so okay. I would like to, I'd love to. Are there, <laughs> does Yashan have an equivalent of a fire extinguisher? Uh, so you can certainly look for one. Um, they do, <laughs> they, they exist. Um, you roll a know. perception check. <laughs> as you're, you're wrestling with the skeleton, you're trying to see if you're looking for a fire extinguisher as the building's burning. So go ahead and roll with disadvantage. Uh, dang, because I just, my first roll was really good. <laughs> it was really good, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, sorry, man. But <laughs> the building's on fire and <laughs> you're in battle. Oh, shoot, okay. So that is 15 with this event. Awesome. So uh, even though there, there is a lot of smoke and you're in the midst of battle, you see um, in the in the garage where you came from, there is a shelf that has um, some fire blankets and a fire extinguisher. Great. Put the, put the, put the fire extinguishing equipment in the garage outside of the main building. That's great. <laughs> Um, I'm looking at my spells. I, the thing is, if I use a fire extinguisher in some way, a sh fashion, it's very unlikely to be able to put out all of this flame, correct? Yeah. You can always try. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a half dragon nemesis enemy with most of their uh, armor cleared off. I'm gonna use a level two I, I am going to look at Mady and say, I'm going to use a level two catapult to finish off our, our hated enemy. Is that okay? Yes. The return look Go says okay. So I'm going to uh, do my level two catapult. I'm gonna cast it. It just casts. Awesome. So it's, it automatically casts. Uh, when you cast it as an attack, is there a saving throw or do you have to roll to hit? Uh, the thing must make a uh, a dex 12 saving throw. Awesome. So uh, she rolled a 15. So what happens uh, on a save? On a save So if the object was strike a creature so I took a really wicked looking knife from the thing and I threw it uh, on a failed save the object strikes the target and stops moving when the object strikes something. Yeah, it's... It, it seems like if she got the save, maybe it doesn't happen? I don't know. Okay, so you are engaged in conflict with this skeleton, and uh, you free up one hand to spot something on the wall and fling it at the half-dragon. Um, she notices you and puts up her hand, and it sticks into her arm, uh, so there's blood dripping down her arm. Um, but she's still standing, uh, even though you were able to hit her with it. I, uh, mutter in, in, in a curse in Infernal, and I, uh, return my hands to just, like, struggling with this skeleton that I'm fighting with. Awesome. So you two are struggling, uh, in, uh, combat, and we're gonna go back to the top of initiative order. Arya, it's your turn. Oh, excellent. Okay. So I'm... I think going to toss a dart at the half dragon. Okay. Uh, I have a bonus for it. Um, do you need to know the range for that? Uh, no, she's close enough that you should be able to hit her. Um, so yeah, it, is it an attack roll on your part or is it a save? On uh, as an attack roll. Okay. Um, 15. Awesome. A 15 does not hit. Oh, no. So you uh, throw a dart at her, 
Uh, but she reflects it away uh, with her. That said, sword. if she reflects it away, there's two scarecrows very close. It's very feasible that one of them would get hit. <laughs> That's true. Let's uh, let's roll a percentage die, and okay. let's see. Awesome. So uh, she reflects it away, and it sticks into one of the skeletons, and ah. it's, it's one of its arms falls off. Ah. All right. Red. I mean, Six. it's it's on fire, and fire is not good for those skeletons. So um, now it is going to, oh, I'm sorry, are there any bonus actions or anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Um, yeah, I can unarmed strike um, as a bonus action. Awesome, go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unarmed strike the skeleton directly in front of me. Cool. Um, sorry, these goggles are very dark. <laughs> 13. 13, cool. Oh my gosh, I forgot to have those skeletons attack y'all last time. So that's okay, they just got skipped this round um, and they just kept y'all busy. So next time they'll do some stuff. Uh, you said a 13, a 13 hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Um, six, okay, that's one. Two. Three. Awesome, so you. Um, are struggling with this skeleton, but you're able to get some elbows in there uh, and you knock its jaw off, um, but it's still trying to get you. Um, so <laughs> now we're gonna go to win. Uh, go ahead and make your first death save. Can't wait, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Excellent. It is a 10. Is or that a good a one success? or a bad one? If oh, it's lower than a 10, that's a failure. If you get three <laughs> failures, you die, like permanently dead. Um, if you're attacked by uh, an enemy while you're down, then that's an automatic failure. Um, if the enemy crits on you, then that's uh, two failures automatically. Um, and other players can help you, and if they give you they do a medicine check, they can help you get saves and they can stabilize you, um, or they can give you a health potion to get you back up. Yeah, those are good things that people could do, and I would appreciate uh, okay, good. But the 10 is the good one. Okay. Yes, so you have one save. I thought save. for a second 10 might have still been failure. <laughs> no, one save so far. Awesome. Okay. And now it is um, our half dragon's turn. So um, the building is on fire and things are collapsing. Um, she's looking really hurt. Uh, she kind of looks at you, uh, matey and um, she scowls at you and then takes the disengage action. She dashes towards the exit and she's uh, standing in the fire now. When she moves outside of the threat range, does that create an attack of opportunity? opportunity. Uh, it does not if she takes the disengage action. So if you take the disengage action, you can, which is counts as your action for the turn, um, then you can leave the threat range without an attack of opportunity. Gotcha. Um, so she, since she already used her action, she can't leave on this turn, but she's moved into the fire near the entrance where it's collapsed. Um, so the entrance is blocked, but there are windows and weakened walls there. Uh, so she, uh, she takes out a crossbow as she's standing into the fire and it catches on fire in her hands and uh, disintegrates. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to roll for the building. So <laughs> building rolls, uh, if they're less than a 10, then the building will start to collapse. If they're higher than a 10, then the building will remain stable for this particular round. Uh, so let's see what happens. Awesome. So that's a six. So... Um, the <laughs> the seal or let's do a actually even better um no, let's no. say no. matey uh can you roll a flat d20 for me um so if you hit a 15 <laughs> um then you are okay if i hit a what if you if you roll high a 15 or higher then 15 mm -hmm. <laughs> This Unsubscribe. <laughs> Baby, just I got it. a, I got a, a two. Awesome. Oh. So, um, yes. Mady, uh, you, uh, the roof around where you are collapses. Um, go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. 
So you'll roll a d20, add your dexterity modifier. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Realms and Roleplay. Uh, we're Sovereign of Death. Sovereign this is where all death. the death comes in. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is the fifth episode. Stuff's gotta get real. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Extremely real. <laughs> okay, so you said I roll and then I get my dexterity modifier? That's correct. Okay, so I got a six plus one and a seven. So don't forget, you have inspiration. So. I'm not saying that you have oh. to use it. You can use I, it if you want. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to use it before. I didn't get to use it. Yeah, I want to use it. Okay, awesome. So uh, go ahead and roll the game. I should have done that the last time when the right before the building, me versus the building. Um, I get the best one out of those two, right? That's correct. Okay, so we're back at a seven. Awesome. Uh, uh, so. The, the ceiling uh, collapses onto Lady, uh, and you are pinned uh, and prone under the, the flames. So uh, at the start of your turn, uh, you'll have to make a constitution saving throw or you'll take um, fire damage as you're being burned by the rubble. Um, so when this happens, that blocks off the path from uh, Martin and Aria for you getting into that room. Um, and that was the building's turn. Uh, and now we're going to go to... Um, See, it's weird. Even when you roll for inanimate objects, it seems like they're still trying to hurt us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? It's weird how the house is hurting us. Uh, so now it's Mady's turn. Uh, so go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Okay, uh, how do I do that? So roll your d20 and add your constitution modifier. Which is a zero. Alright, so it'll be a flat roll. Fourteen. Awesome, so you uh, take three points of uh, fire damage as your clothes uh, start to uh, catch fire from the beams that are on you uh, and start to crush you some. Um, okay. and now it is. Uh, our... That was my whole turn. I don't get to do anything else. No, because you're pinned right now. Um, if, if you have, uh, if you have any like uh, magic abilities, like yeah. the teleportation, you can use yeah. something like that. Okay, go for it. I don't have teleportation. Oh. But I do want to talk about. Well, hold on, hold on. I do want to talk about this hole that I have in my cloak. Okay. I feel like now is a good time to use the hole. Can I put the hole directly beneath me so that I automatically fall out of it? Uh, when you're restrained, you cannot take any actions at all. You can make a strength check to okay. attempt yes. to yes. get out of the out from okay. under the beams. So let's call all this right. a DC 15. Okay, so I still do my D20, right? Mm -hmm. And you add your strength modifier. Which is plus three. Awesome. Eleven. So fourteen. <gasps> oh. No. So you um you push yourself up with all of your might, uh, and you are able to um, push some of the beams off of you, but you're still restrained uh, for for Keith now. Keith, better say something encouraging and dumb right now. We need it. So uh, <laughs> it I was is really counting on your pockets full of health potions for a uh, little win. Sort of oh, counting on that. Well, I can't, but I can't do anything. I know. I yeah, anything. you can't. You're stuck but under beams. And Arya has a health potion too. Don't forget Arya. Yeah, this is true. But I'm also I'm, I'm behind beams. Uh, I was engaged with <laughs> skeletons, but yes, now yes. I'm stuck behind beams. So uh, it's going to be the scarecrow's turn now. Um, so the scarecrows need to make uh, some saves, or they just need to roll a bunch of ones. Uh, oh what? Oh what? I almost fell off the table. So uh, the scarecrows are able to make those saves. They dodge the falling debris, uh, and they are going to attack uh, Mady. Um, oh, great. So uh, what is your armor class? 18. Awesome. Nice. Oh, There's one good thing about being the tank. So, um... Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So one of the scarecrows uh, is unable to hit you with uh, his attack. Um, he tries to hit you with it, but uh, is unable to 
to hit you because of the fire, and he doesn't want to put his hand on the fire. The other scarecrow, um, as the smoke and mist are surrounding it, its eyes start to glow a uh, very bright orange. And if you could make a wisdom saving throw for me, so what that means is you roll a d20 um, and add your wisdom modifier to that. Oh, great. It's a minus one. But I rolled a 20. Awesome, a nat 20. So um, on a nat 20, uh, the scarecrow, Such a good twist. Uh, <laughs> its eyes start to glow emulsive, <laughs> and it tries to instill you with fear, but the rage and determination that you feel as you're trying to get out from under these beams, uh, send it back at the scarecrow, and his head explodes. Oh. And it's Ooh, ah! it's my minotaurs! Uh, so um, we're going to go to the skeletons now. Um, so there's one skeleton that's fighting Keith, uh, who hasn't had a turn yet, but he'll go after Martin. I uh, forgot about him last time. So um, he is going to take. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say up front. I'll hold my turn until after Keith, uh, just so that he's in a position to help out Mady and win. I want that to happen as soon as possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just move right next to him. I like being next to Keith anyway. He's. I have, I have conflicted feelings for Keith. Yeah. <laughs> so the skeleton uh, takes his sword and stabs it uh, through Keith's side uh, and skewers him a bit. Um, so uh, Keith is not looking good. Uh, he's bleeding out uh, from where the skeleton stabbed him, but he's still fighting with his short swords. Um, and the other skeleton that's in the main room where Wen and Mady are is going to, um, his crossbow didn't work before, he's going to come over and attempt to decapitate uh, uh, or to badly injure uh, <laughs> uh, Wen. So, uh, I would love for that not to happen. He, uh, what is your armor class? Oh, it's 13. It's not great. Mm. Okay, I'm a, so... I'm a wizard. I have a nine. <laughs> so, uh, the skeleton comes over and, uh, stabs you in the back, uh, with his sword, and you have an automatic, uh, failure, uh, ah, yeah, on a death save. I do have that, yeah. Uh, so the other two skeletons that have been fighting Martin and Arya, uh, one of them is going to take an attack at Arya with his... Hello. Um, short sword, and what is your AC? Um, he doesn't have a short sword, remember? He's an arm. Oh yeah, he dropped it. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, so he's gonna try to punch you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is your armor class? 13. Awesome, so uh, he tries to punch you, and uh, his hand hits your armor, and his arm falls off. Um, so he has yes. one arm left that he's trying to fight you with. The other I guess you could say he's armless. Armless? So he's, the, he's armless? The other skeleton's <laughs> gonna attack Martin. <laughs> and, uh, Fantastic. He is going to hit you for. He rolled very well. Um, oh. He's gonna hit you for seven points of damage. Ooh. Cool. Uh, very cheap. That's, uh. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's rough. That's nearly half my health points. Awesome. So you, uh, you're struggling with the skeleton, and he kind of gets a breakaway and slashes across your chest um, before you kind of engage with him again. Um, so that was the skeleton's turn, and now we're going to go to uh, Martin. You said you wanted to hold your turn until after Keith went? Yes. Okay, so Keith is going to go. Uh, he is going to take... Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so Keith uh, takes his s short swords and decapitates the skeleton uh, on a critical Keith, success. Keith, Keith, and, Keith, um, Keith. He's bleeding uh, and pretty badly, but he kind of stumbles over to where Mady is, and um, <laughs> he uh, reaches his hands under the um, rubble, so he's on fire now, and he's attempting to help you get out. Um, so what that means is on your turn, you get to roll with advantage on a strength check to get out uh, from under the rubble. Uh, so this that's... is some husband material level stuff, <laughs> maybe, gonna be honest. I know this, this, is, this is moving fast, but gosh. I mean, if we can get him out of here, Arya, you're gonna have to use your health potion on win because you know 
I think you know so, I'm yeah. not gonna be able to prioritize win over Keith at I'm this sorry, point. What? I'm sorry? <laughs> Your mouth's can win. Your mouth's so, I can't. Mean, we can't hear you. You're unconscious. So it's... Aaron hears you. <laughs> Aaron hears you. Oh, friendships are being destroyed. It's Martin's turn now. It's hey, I was setting you up to get potions. Just know, I know also, that I won't be able to make that choice. Also, we can get healed choice. inside a temple if the temple hasn't burned down. So my situation is I've just been slashed. Uh, there's an armless uh, skeleton next to me. There's no skeleton in front of uh, me personally that has personally wounded me. In the main room, uh, there's one scarecrow, one skeleton, and the half dragon that remain. Uh, in the room where you are, there's one skeleton with one arm and the skeleton that you're engaged, engaged with. Hmm. Is crying a free action? <laughs> crying is absolutely a free action. <laughs> um, is, is, do I have to roll the stifle tears? Because I, I think there are tears occurring. Oh, shoot. I have this ability called Thaumaturgy um, that allows me to manifest a minor wonder, assign a supernatural power within range. My voice can boom up to three times as loud as normal for one minute. I can uh, I can create an instantaneous <laughs> sound that originates from a point of my choice, such as a rumble of thunder or the cry of a raven or ominous whispers. I can instantly cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut, melt to the appearance of my eyes for one minute, or I can cause flames to dim. What are you gonna do? Change the color of your eyes for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my eyes would look brilliant if they were a purple. Uh, but with my thaumaturgy, if I was to dim, before I do anything rash, if I was to dim the flames, Specifically around the areas, because this is a this is a wonder. This is a sign of supernatural power, according to the, the game. Is it, can, can I dim it specifically around me and my friends, for potentially protect us from some damage in this next turn? I would say that if you, if Martin Money believes in his heart that he can help his friends, then it may be something. Something of wonder may happen. So now you've made it. Do I attempt to? murder a dragon, or do I believe in friendship? Is that the choice I'm being presented with? I mean, I think that we all have choices in life, and whatever you would like to do is, is up to you, my friend. <laughs> I, uh, step back from the, uh, skeleton, raise my staff into the air, fall onto my knees, and scream, Friendship Erica! Awesome. So with a booming, thunderous roar, uh, the power of Martin's uh, friendship cry echoes throughout the Knife Museum, and the flames uh, are subsided and uh, doused under the power of Martin's hey. cry. So the Knife Museum is no longer uh, on fire. It's still structurally oh, unsound. But it's no longer on fire. I mean, he's also not on fire <laughs> anymore. Yes. Uh, and neither are you. You're still trapped, but not on fire. Oh, right. I was too. Cool, cool. Okay. Good job, Martin. Um, are there any additional actions or, or bonus actions or anything you'd like to do on your turn? Everything is not on fire, right? And I can, I can move freely? Uh, that's correct, yes. Uh, you would still need to take a disengage action to not get the attack of opportunity if you decided to move past the skeleton set. Hmm. Um, so see, see, the thing is, how would everyone feel about me running? And here's why I say this. <laughs> Hear me out. I see some. I see some skepticism. I understand. I empathize. However, <laughs> our mortal enemy is about to mortal literally because she's mortally wounded uh, one or several of us is about to try to leave the building I can either dash towards her while we're inside of this building room be close to her when she tries to escape or I can leave the building run around intercept are you saying this out loud uh, <laughs> when I say friendship miracle I feel like Everybody gets like a lot of vibes from me mm. that are both comforting as well as filled with anxiety, which is a very big <laughs> mark money move. 
<laughs> so uh, you all feel in your bones uh, this re- reverberating uh, speech from your friend uh, Martin, uh, and and you feel like for a moment you have the ability to temporarily temporarily message. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, Wynn's having a, like a picnic with her parents in her <laughs> unconscious mind, so she has no opinion of the current circumstances. I have what's like an auto, out of office, which is an auto reply that says, don't split the party. <laughs> I think that we're free to choose to live our lives however we like, and if you want to do that, then by all means, feel empowered. Aria supports you running. You get You get vague but positive vibes. Okay, I actually know what I'm going to do, especially because it's uh, deeply relevant for the situation. I'm going to risk the attack of opportunity that the skeleton's going to have on me, and I'm going to run. I'm going to like vault over uh, some beams real quick to be by maybe side, especially now that things aren't on fire. Awesome. So uh, you take six points of damage uh, as the skeleton uh, skewers you in the side uh, as you run by. Um, but you're able to get past um, the skeleton and, and get to where Mady is. The other one tries to hit you, but he, he can't because he's unarmed and he's distracted. Um, so you are able to uh, get to Mady's side, uh, and that is your turn. So now we're going to go back to the top of the initiative order, and Arya, it is your turn. Martin Money survived that. <laughs> Are you still alive after six points of damage? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Great. <laughs> What's your HP right now? Uh, on, a, on I, I, I think I am, uh, I'm a seven. I'm not going to try to get clever with the discussion. I'm a seven. I'm, okay. I'm in a real bad yep. place. Yeah, okay. This is just important to know. Okay. Aria, remember the potion. All right, so you all, all three of y'all, are in another room that I am blocked from getting to by some felled beams. No, you can get past them now that they're not on fire. Okay. But there are, there is at least one skeleton that I'm engaged with and another one Mm -hmm. right by me. That's correct. So since Martin is no longer there, both skeletons are are going to, at some point, fight you. So you would need to, you will get two attacks of opportunity against you if you try to leave. Oh, boy. But, I mean, feel free to do whatever you like. I can use disengage and then move, right? That's correct. Great. Okay, I'm gonna do what Martin didn't just do, disengage these skeletons and go around front to try to catch this half dragon. Oh, last snap! Couple legs. Well, all th- I feel like all three of you are in the room now, and there's Keith, so I feel like maybe See, you guys have it covered? When no, we were she's about- wins unconscious awesome we were talking about me running wait 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 hear me out before you disengage and leave and run what is a museum a museum is a sanctuary it is honoring it is almost worshiping its subject matter matter and we are inside a knife museum a we temple to knives we can you heal us this realms and realm play session <laughs> <laughs> for some philosophizing about the nature of museums. I, I, I'm really picking this up. I like it. You know, I'll tell you what. I'll let you roll a d20, and if you get a critical success, oh. <laughs> then you can heal everyone. Everyone, well, actually, I'm not going to say that because that might happen. If you get a critical <laughs> success, then you can heal people. Boy. You can also, okay, here, guys. That, that said, you can disengage and like try to do some optimal things. Like I support you. I give I give vibes that both support the sanctity of museums as well as support your decision to run because that's like pr- a pretty good decision for at least one of us to run. Yeah, I'll say that this, this check is a free action so you can do whatever you want if it doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Nine, so nope. Awesome. So you feel like at some point this may have been a temple to knives, but it's charred now, so it's been um, desecrated. Mm. Well, so the, try, the thing is, even if I do disengage and run over to you, I still can't give you that health potion until we go through all of the other actions yeah. in this order anyway. That's why you should run. You should run. That's why I feel skeletons. like I should run. True. Fair. Uh, is that or what? fly? 
So I will yep. say that if you would like to get around the building uh, in this one turn, you'll need to fly uh, to have your flight speed. I, yeah. So. Yeah. My flight speed got upgraded though, so I do think it's fast enough. I just feel like this party needs to trust their instincts. <laughs> just like, if you're gonna do a thing, just commit to the bit. Just I'm doing do it. it. <laughs> We're gonna fly around, and I'm gonna try to catch dragon lady before she flees. Awesome. So you flap your wings in a mighty gust and take off flying uh, through the garage and around to the side. Uh, to Considering the how the structural the integrity of the skeletons right by her were kind of pre-compromised, I think they should lose at least one or more limbs again when that gust comes down. Yeah, let's see, <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's, let's roll, a, roll a dice. Let's set the dice. So you... Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Wait. you uh, Hold on. <laughs> take off, and as you're taking off, the skeleton who had previous loss, previously lost an arm, its head flies off. Um, uh. But it's a skeleton, so he's like still trying to do his own thing. <laughs> um, and you fly around to the front. As you're flying to the front, you can make a perception check if you would like to see uh, what's going on in the city. Yeah, let's do it. A six? Everything's fine. I notice that there is a city. Yeah, there's a city. <laughs> there's folks walking around. Everything's fine. Uh, so <laughs> now we're going to go to Wynn. Uh, and so when before you make your saving throw, you're having this picnic with your family in the place between places. Um, and <laughs> you're sitting with your parents and they're telling you... Um, we're so proud of you, honey, and we just want you to know that no matter what happens, that we'll always be here for you. And uh, your dad reaches into a picnic basket and pulls out um, uh, some of your favorite snacks, and he's handing them to you. Um, and you see that your mom has a champagne glass, and she starts to uh, pour something out of it. Go ahead and make your save. Three. Awesome. So that's your second <laughs> failure. Uh, so you see that your mom starts to pour something into the glass, and it's a dark red liquid. Um, and as she does, uh, blood starts to seep out of your dad's mouth. Um, oh. And the snacks that are in your hand turn into a beating heart. Uh, and so now we're going to go to... Um, it is going to be the half dragon's turn. Um... So now that the fire is out, uh, she is going to attempt to escape outside. Um, and she she's um, really messed up. She can't just be pushing through windows. This 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 should this should be a really high roll. This should be hard for her. She's attempting to um, break through the uh, damaged section of the wall. And so she bashes into it with her shoulder, um, and it's cracked pretty severely. She's not able to get out on this particular turn. Um, and so now we're going to go to... Uh, who's still alive? So we're going to go to the... <laughs> Everyone's, it's weird. Everyone's dead. And we won. <laughs> the Scarecrow. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, the Scarecrow. I'm worried about wind. Guys, I think my next character is going to be different. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's, Ma it's uh, 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 Mady's turn now. I thought it might be. Okay, so here's what I'm going to... I'm going to try to do something, because I know I'm still pinned under but you have this... You are, it isn't burning anymore, though. Yes, but I'm still pinned. I'm not, I do not want to try to get out. I'm going to try to throw a potion at Wynn in a way that it will smash... And into seep her into her. <laughs> On my and I'm going to attempt to throw it at her face so it smashes and seeps in to uh, heal her. It's okay because if it cuts her, that will it'll heal that too. Okay. What so I'll, I'll tell you this. So uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keith is is helping you lift up the beams, and I'm going to say that you're kind of in a plank position right now, trying to push them off of you. If you want, you can reach with one hand, because you're pretty strong. So you can reach with one hand, grab a potion, and attempt to throw it at Wynn. 
Uh, however, if I take damage, I die. If I take any damage, I am dead. However, but you'll also be healed. So, if you if you want to do this, it's going to be a DC 18 check. Uh, okay. So what that All means right. is you yeah. roll a, a flat roll, um, and we can say you can add your dexterity bonus to it because it's some dexterity stuff. Okay. All you right. So know. then I. Okay. So then. Uh, as I'm thinking through this, I'm thinking through the odds of this working and thinking maybe it's not a good idea and I might wind up killing her. Good. No, it's good. So she, she, won't, she won't take damage. <laughs> no, no, oh, she won't take yeah, damage no. if I do it. I'm not going to kill it. you from something silly like that. But... <laughs> she chucks a healing potion, the glass breaks against my face, and I'm crushed. <laughs> you know, that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Game <laughs> over. Yeah, you're done. All right, well, then I'll try to get out from under the thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and give me a strength check with advantage. Okay. All right, a 10 plus, okay, 13 or 17, 17. Awesome. So on a 17, um, you and Keith together are able to lift all of the debris off. Uh, and you I'm are still free. wearing a tree disguise canonically, and I'm just whispering while the disguise is a tree. Power couple. Power couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, you are now free. Other is there any other like movement or bonus actions you like to do on your turn? Okay, so I have an action surge. I think this is the time to take it. Okay. So I have I can take one additional action on your turn, and um, movement is not an action, right? That is correct. Okay, then I go over to Win and I pour, gently pour the potion into her mouth. Awesome. Woo so uh, oh. you <laughs> give Wynn the potion. Uh, when, as you uh, see this horrific scene of the picnic, it all vanishes uh, and you oh. start to fall yeah. and then you fall back into your body and you're awake. I wake up just yelling for my parents. Aw, that's so <laughs> sad. Is it a free action to like comfort Wynn? Uh, sure. You're all right there, so I'm. I can say that you all like. Yeah, you are. I, yeah. I give you a big like, leafy they're embrace. They're oh. All right. Awesome. Hi. So. What just happened? Way too long to explain right now. Everything's on fire. It's not anymore. Not was anymore. Good. It was like everything was. On it was. Fire. Awesome. So now you woke up and things are actually slightly better. It is going to be uh, the scarecrow's turn. The one that's left. Did they come before Keith? How much That's health correct. did I get? Uh, right. Uh, the potions that you have from the pouch, did I send you how much that they were? You Maybe. did not. Okay, let's say that they're 1d8 uh, plus 4. Or let's just say 1d8. That's a lot. So let's just do 1d8. <laughs> so go ahead and roll a d8, and then whatever the result of that is, is how many hit points that you get. Me or matey? Uh, matey. Uh, the distributor of the potion. Oh, oh, great, great. So it's going to be on me. Okay. It's a two. That's okay. Uh, so I will take it. You get two, you are bought back up with two HP. Uh, so the scarecrow is going to uh, go over to the half dragon and pull out um, a uh, a um, a, a jet black uh, stone that was in its chest um, and f put it in the half dragon's mouth and then the scarecrow uh, dissipates uh, into smoke and there's a black aura around the half dragon. Uh, no. Don't like, that. Don't like it. Uh, and so the skeletons now uh, the only ones that are left are... Oh no, there's one in the room with you all. So that one skeleton is going to take an attack at uh, probably a maybe. And it misses. Uh, and the other two skeletons who are in the hallway are going to start to make their way to the other room. So they'll use all of their action or their movement to get over the difficult terrain. So they're now in the main room with you all. Um, and now it's going to be... Keith's turn. Uh, he's going to take an attack at the skeleton. Awesome. So he hits the skeleton for five points of damage. The one skeleton that had lost an arm and a uh, head, he cuts it in half. Um, so the skeleton is 
uh, shambling on the ground with with okay. uh, with half a body, it's probably not a threat. So Keith incapacitates one of the skeletons, uh, and now it is Martin's turn. So you have uh, two skeletons in the room with you who are full. There's the torso of the skeleton. There is the half dragon who's emitting some sort of dark aura. Ooh, okay. So, base. What is what poses the most danger to my friends right now? Uh, you can make an investigation check. Let's investigate. That is a fourteen. Definitely the dragon. <laughs> De- definitely the dragon. Black the dragon, aura. based off of what I'm seeing, I, I I'm a wizard. I know magical stuff. Can I identify like even if I tried to attack the dragon, if you would pull some shenaniganry on me? Uh, go ahead and make an arcana check. That is a... It's 10. Uh, you feel like this is a form of magic you're not familiar with. Gosh, dang it, Carmen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Do I have time to very quickly do a check-in with everybody and see what they need or what I can help with? Uh, so Arya's not uh, near you all, and nobody has the message ability. So you're able to speak with the people who are near you, um, out loud, of course, so the others will hear it, but... Okay, very quickly, matey win, Keith. Uh, is everyone okay? Is there anything I need to do right now to help someone else? Because what I want to do is I want to chug a potion, and I want to chuck something really dangerous at that dragon. Do it! So can yes. I chug a potion and chuck something dangerous at a dragon? Uh, so, yeah, drinking a health potion, is a, is it a health potion? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's a free action. Uh, <laughs> it's good to ask. <laughs> so I, I, I grab a health potion. How much health does that revive? Uh, so it's 1d8. So roll a d8, and whatever the result is, is how much HP you get. And uh, y'all wish the best for me. Seven! Awesome. So Again. you regain seven HP. Uh, and what would you like to do for your action? I'm going to do a uh, catapult level two. Uh, is there anything especially uh, sharp and dangerous and wicked looking? Is there like, because they usually, museums tend to put some of their best exhibits up front. I'm wondering if there's just like a really cursed dagger. Not cursed, because curse could contribute to the situation. So just like a really gnarly dagger that could be uh, lunged into some, directly into someone's unarmored chest. Go ahead and make a d20 check. Just a flat d20. Uh, that's a 16. Awesome. So there's, in the amidst the rubble, uh, near uh, Keith's parents, uh, there is a uh, spear that has uh, a ember stone in, in it. Um, and the spear, even though everything around it is charred, the area where the spear is laying is untouched. I grab the spear that is far away from me, and I chuck it right at her heart. Awesome. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Uh, I cast it for that. I don't need to do an attack roll from what I know. Oh, uh, okay. I just, so she... I just cast it, and she has to save. Awesome. Let's see what happens. Uh, so, does an 11 save? No, it doesn't. Awesome. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. Bump, or bump. D8. Four, three, three, seven. So awesome. what's that? Seventeen. <laughs> A lot. So, wow. uh, Martin, you and your friends have been through the ringer, and you almost burned alive. You find this spear, and with the magic that flows through your veins, you pick it up, and you send it flying towards this... Uh, half dragon, and as the smoke that's emanating off of her starts to seep into uh, her body and seemingly heal her wounds, the spear stabs right through her heart and skewers her uh, against the wall. And she Ooh. is no more. Yeah! In Draconic, I want to say, that's for Keith's parents. And Keith is like, yeah! Um, but, so... but wait, his parents... His parents, his parents did a deal. Yeah, but he's sad. Him. But he's sad about it. They might not have had a choice. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not gonna sell you this. Mo- I'm not gonna sell you this moment. Uh, uh, yeah. And don't. Cool. 
Great. Are we still in, are we still in combat? Or is we combat are over? still in combat. There are two okay. skeletons that are still active in the main room. Uh, if so, you've ever seen The Breakfast Club, as when it goes through a chest, I can sort of just, my last thing is I turn around and I just have my this upgrades and that's the pose that I, I stick in. Awesome. And I'll get stabbed in if someone manages to hit me. So Martin <laughs> is frozen in a celebration pose. Uh, a really awesome turn. And now we're going to go back to the top of initiative order. So Arya, you flew around the front to uh, see what if you could cut off the half dragon uh, as she came through. Um, so when you get around to the front, you see the spear stick out the other side of the wall uh, with, with blood covering the tip. Um, if you could go ahead and make a perception check for me, please. I don't like it when you make that voice. <laughs> Uh, 18? Ah. Uh, awesome. So you... Yeah, <laughs> as As you uh, sort of are, you know, getting around to the front and you land, you notice that the figure you saw before circling the city on the dragon is headed mm -hmm. right to where you are right now. Uh, is there anything you would like to do uh, with your turn uh, before... It is over. So, can I grab the tip of that spear that's sticking out the wall and just take that? I'll <laughs> oh, take the ember stone. <laughs> sure. You just yeah. see the spear like shunk, like. <laughs> you uh, break off the edge of the spear and you have that. Is there anything else you like to do with your turn? Um. And to be clear, that, that means that Arya now has Emberstone, right? Because I want to make sure we pilfer that. That's correct. Do I have it as like part of the end of a broken spear, or is it just like the thing? Uh, you have it as part of the end of a broken spear. So Hell you have yeah. the stone and the spear. That sounds like a magical item. That sounds rad. I don't know. Um, can I use my action to like bust through the now cracked wall that the dragon lady was going to bust through, but then didn't? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and make a DC 10 strength check. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Heck no. This is six. Uh, <laughs> so just... Yeah, no, so you, you, you try to bust through the wall, but you think that maybe her body on the other side is preventing you from being able to bust through. Um, so we cut back to the interior. <laughs> uh, when it's your turn, um, and there are two skeletons left. Um, however, you notice that um, after the half dragon died, it seems the skeletons uh, don't have the same vigor that they had before. Mm. She was empowering them in some way. Um, I'm gonna use half my movement to stand up from the ground. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just is are any of them next to any of us? Uh, yeah, they're both uh, right next to you. All. Oh, they're both next to us. Great. So I'm gonna, uh, I guess stab it with my rapier. I was gonna shoot one with the short bow, but they're next to us, so I'll just stab one. Awesome. You, Go for it. You could shoot them right next to you, like. Yeah, but then it's disadvantage because it's a ranged weapon. Oh. Ask Wynn if she wants to have another health potion. <laughs> yeah, ask me. I I have a non-natural twenty. Awesome. So on a uh, dirty 20, uh, go ahead and roll damage. Great. And if they're next to our uh, friends, then, oh, this is good good sneak attack bonus here, guys. Oh, yeah. So that's a nine and a seven, so 16 total. Hey, awesome. yeah. Awesome. So uh, when, after being uh, in this weird dream world, you stand up and just uh, dice one of the skeletons. <laughs> Uh, and it completely falls apart, destroyed. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, um, and the other one's next to me too, right? That's correct. I am taking the disengage action using my uh, cunning action skill to disengage as a bonus action, and then moving out of its range. <laughs> awesome, so you take a few steps back. No health. <laughs> uh, so it is now uh, Mady's turn. I'm gonna get my war hammer. Go after that last skeleton. Awesome. Okay. 
clobber in time. Okay, so it's 13. 13 hits. Mm-hmm. And then, okay, so one D8. I don't like that D8. It's been failing me. Let's see if I have another one. Yes, okay. Plus three. So it's six. Awesome. So Damage. Um, you bring your uh, weapon up and bash the uh, skeleton's upper body off. And as you do, the upper body shatters and the skeleton is destroyed. Uh, so you're no longer in combat. Um, and you all uh, can move freely. So, uh, Keith, Now can I bust through that wall? You come flying through that wall. Guys, there's a dragon coming. Wait, what? Wait, stop. There'd we killed dragon. the dragon. How, no, no, like the dragon dragon is coming. Oh, no. Ooh, the dragon comes no! crashing down to the ground. Uh, and a person in a cloak uh, jumps off of it. And as they land, uh, two giant uh, devil wings come up from their back. Uh, and they take the cloak off and you see that it's a succubus. Um, and uh, that is where we're going to end for today. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, our uh, heroes were successful uh, in a pretty uh, intense and deadly battle. Um, but it seems like they're not out of danger yet. Uh, tune in next time to find out what happens and if they survive. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>